tonight, you can't chase the thoughts of that poor girl you killed from your head. You wonder what she looked like as she died. Squirming, skewered in abject agony. You would have given anything to have seen it. As you jolt awake, too many questions plague you. When the proud deed of her death was yours, why do you have no recollection of it? Milady, <gasps> jubilant day! I have found your vile self at last! Skelerit has fell! Your loyal and ever-adoring butler. I followed you, my dear rotted master. We have been parted so tragically long. <laughs> oh, one hell of a butler. The most unprincipled servant you could hope for. You have always uh, struggled to conduct yourself properly without me. I found you following the stench of that bard. <sighs> she reeked across the coast like a piece of dog muck on the road. Ah, it seems you've become quite the exhibitionist without me. I can only congratulate you on your indecency. Anyways, I come once again bearing a part of your dreadful inheritance. You earned this iniquitous prize through your great show of exceptional violence the other night. I'm sure Master will be better soon. A fellow of your fine breeding is never down for long. <laughs> I cannot wait until your next act of shameless barbarity. Though I would love to regale you with your past triumphs, uh, I cannot. I am forbidden to interfere. Our debtors will not allow it. Be true to yourself, my lady.